Welcome back guys to Nino Kuni as we head to see the king, but it seems things have changed slightly. Different people in different places. They say King Tom spends all day lounging around this palace. Ah, oh, so you're the boy that was over there. I bet it's great being king. So while they're different places, the spaces are still the same as it were. Well, let's head in and talk to the king. Get our new wand. More powerful, more impressive one. Except the king is no longer here. Does that guard not look very worried and pensive? Something's happened. Oh, it's you! Thank goodness! You have to help us! Something terrible has happened! Clement Eggman! Don't tell me old King Tom's gonna got his heart broken again! No, no! His Majesty's heart is in good working order! As far as I know! As far as you know? After you restored his Majesty's missing enthusiasm, he was determined to find his old wand, so he could give it to you by way of a reward! So determined, in fact, that he said he would go and look for it himself! Well, that's good, ain't it? What's all the fuss about? His Majesty has disappeared! Eh? The gatekeepers swear that he hasn't left Ding Dong Dell, and yet he's nowhere to be found! Hmm, I smell a rat by here, Ollie boy! Well, I suppose there's only one thing for it, eh? Uh, what's that, Mr. Trippy? A spot of investigating, ain't it? Alright, no helmet face, you and your mates keep an eye on the castle, we're going to look for clues! Uh, yes, understood! Where do we look, Mr. Trippy? Don't worry, Ollie boy! You know the place! You know it very well, in fact, come on! I'll tell you more when we're outside. Uh, okay. Where are we going, Mr. Trippy? And what's this about? Somewhere, somewhere I know really well. Where do you think, Clever Clogs? Motorville, innit? What? Motorville? But what does Motorville have to do with finding the king? Well, the answer ain't always gonna be over by ear, Ollie boy. Oh, what does that mean? You gotta remember the whole soulmate thing, innit? What we see here in this world ain't always the whole picture. Soulmates, okay. Think about it, Ollie boy. What are you here in our world, eh? Uh, to save my mum. Exactly, and your mum is the greatest sage Alicia's soulmate, right? And we're trying to free Alicia from the soul snare over by here so we can help your mum back over by there, innit? Well, that's what you told me, Mr. Drippy. I wasn't fibbing. So people in your world and my world are connected, not just Alicia and your mum. All people. They are? So, exactly. That's clever of you. There's someone over in your world who's connected to King Tom over by here. And when someone in our world is in a pot, you can sometimes find out how to help them from their soulmate over in your world. Because they're connected, see? Obvious when you think about it, ain't it? So somebody in my world is King Tom's soulmate, huh? That's right, but maybe not a person. Maybe not in such a lofty position as our friend the Cat King. Huh? Well, Shopkeeper's Cat and King of Ding Dong Dell ain't exactly similar status-wise, is it? Shopkeeper's Cat? I don't think I, uh... Clever neck, man. It's like pulling teeth. Okay, so soulmates can look and even act the same, right? We've covered that already. So when you first saw King Tom, you instantly thought to yourself, Hello, hello, he's a spitting image of Timmy the Cat he is. Timmy Tompkins, in fact. I did? That's, you mean that King Tom is? King Tom and Timmy Toldrum. Oh, Timmy Toldrum, not Tompkins. But Miss Layla's cat? It's clever of you, but I never... But Timmy's just a cat. Exactly, just like our pal King Tom. What's so strange about that? Crikey, you're not very perceptive for a youngster, are you? If two people are soulmates, there'll be similarities somewhere. You've just got to keep an open mind and a peeled eye. Spot the similarities and you'll find the soulmate. Gee, I never knew. So, Timmy, huh? Timmy indeed, my lad. If we can find that fat old furball, we might get a clue as to where King Tom's got himself to. So magic is up a gateway, and let's get over to your world, shall we? You remember how, don't you? Sure I do. Let's go see how everybody back in Motorville is doing. Seems we're heading back to the real world. We use it here? Seems we can indeed. But shouldn't we put back on our old clothes? I guess it's not so weird for a boy to be playing make-believe anywhere. They're gonna be like, what's going on? Well now, isn't that a swell outfit you've got on there? You look every inch of a superhero! I sure do! They just opened a new diner down there by the town square! Seems like a real nice place! Well, let's head along and hope not to get run over! These cars don't seem to stop no matter what! You must drink plenty of full cream milk and eat lots of red meat if you want to grow up big and strong! That's why Nathan's store is such a great help! Sounds like a recipe for cholesterol, personally, but you know... Not that I don't love me some red meat! Spaghetti bolognese is 
Let's get ourselves some red onions. I love them in my bolognese. We we'll get some red peppers as well. Where are they? Hello! Have you seen our little Tom anywhere? Oh, Oliver, seeing you, I, I just don't know what to say, dear. It's fine, Miss Lena. I'm okay now. You are? Well, I'm pleased to hear that, honey. But if there's anything I can do, just let me know, won't you? Actually, there's something you can do for me right now, Miss Lena. You can tell me where Timmy is. Is he here in the store? Well, now that you mention it, I don't think I've seen him. Timmy? Timmy? Where's my Timmy Toldrum? He must have run off somewhere, the little rascal. He's probably gone exploring, huh? Oi, Ollie boy! Does this little situation remind you of anything? Sure it does. It's just like what happened with King Tom. Bingo! We got ourselves a missing cat king in one world and a missing fat cat in another. And I reckon the reason why will be the same too. Track down Timmy and you're sure to find a vital clue that will help solve the mystery. Here's sharp of you. And this here's your patch in it. You know it like the back of your hand. Uh-huh. I'll solve the case of the missing cat in no time. I'm awfully sorry I couldn't help you, dearie. But you did help. Thanks, Miss Layla. I did? Well, all right then. Goodbye now, dear. Goodbye, Miss Layla. Righto, Wally boy. Let's start out where you know best, shall we? Round by your house, I mean. Sure, let's go. I'm wondering why she wasn't slightly questioning the fact that I'm talking to thin air. Still haven't established the people can see him yet. Or maybe they see him as some kind of ragdoll being brought along by me? Maybe they seem like that. The kitty cat in the latest store seems to be chasing something. Either he's cracked or that place is mice. Ah, I can see the link going on here. Mama says if she had one of her, those automatic washing machines, she'd hang another load in the line just to make the most of this fine weather. Does seem pretty good. As the cars continue to cross, I will make sure to run as fast as I can. What a fine outfit you have on, young Oliver. Why, I once had one just like it myself. Did you really? I guess it's less weird to be dressed like this in this world than it is to be dressed like normal in that world. Anyway, the diner's open, so someone can get their gossip, it seems. Let's head around. What's a view, madame? You might know the cat's whereabouts. Whatever are you wearing, dear? Is this some kind of fad with you young folks? A fad, maybe, but look who's standing there. Oliver? I'm sorry, Oliver. It's you. We haven't looked in your house yet, have we, Ollie boy? I'll run over there and check now. Back in a bit. Uh, sure, Mr. Drippy. I'm sorry, Oliver. I'm sorry you're all alone. Huh? Your mummy. You know about that? When mum died, I thought she'd be gone forever. I thought I'd be all alone. But now, now I can help her. I just need to finish what I started. Oh, I wanted to ask you. That one, the one I found. Do you leave it for me? Found it, I could have never gone to the other world. Maybe you don't even know what I'm talking about, but if it hadn't been for that wand, I... I'd still be all alone. Really? Really, really? Really, really? Hooray! I hope you can save your mummy, Oliver. Thanks, but who are you? How do you know my name? I'm P. I've always known you, Oliver. Always? So your name is P, huh? Yes, I'm P. Oh, hey, P. Have you seen a big old cat? His name's Timmy Toldrum. He has stripes all over and he's kind of fat. Mr. Kitty? I know Mr. Kitty. Mr. Kitty? I'll take you to Mr. Kitty, Oliver. Follow me. She must mean Timmy, right? Oi, Ollie boy, no sign of old Fatty the Mog in the house, I'm afraid. What are you doing standing around by here on your own anyway? I might just know where to find Timmy, Mr. Drippy. You what? How? Where? Hmm? Please, P, could you show us? Uh, what's all this then? Are you alright, Ollie boy? Okay, this is weird. So, the magical people can't even see the little girl. And she's known Ollie all along, which is why I'm slightly wondering if, on the weird thing, it, it said that people don't have to look like each other, yeah? Or even be kind of like each other, but their soulmate's all the same. What if she is? Just waiting back to the garage? No? Where are we heading? At least no cars driving through here. We don't have to dodge anything this time. It's a bit weird to be led all around like this, to be honest. Are we near? In here, you say? Is this where Timmy is, P? Shh! Huh? Listen, what's that? Squeak, squeak! A, a mouse! Uh, is there something through there, is there? Timmy? He seems hurt, maybe. Boy, Timmy boy, pull yourself together, man. 
Looks like we better take him back to Layla, ain't it, Oli boy? You're right. Thank you so much for showing us, P. Huh? But she was... Where did she go? This is mysterious. What are you standing around for, Lazy Bones? Get a flip and move on! Pick up Timmy indeed. In fact, you picked up Timmy. Don't we, what, we want to cast Healing Touch on him first? And aren't everyone seeing a weird cat flying around upside down? We need to establish certain things. Can you see him? Can you not? Who's that in there? Dog? Hello? Let's take a cat to the dog. That's a good idea. Off woof grr. Okay then, sir. Mysterious bulldog. Let's take this gigantic fat cat away. Who gives cats a second name anyway? I say that knowing that some somewhere out there a subscriber does have a cat with two names. I mean, our cat has millions of names. Uh, main actual given name is Moro, as in Moro from Princess Mononoke. But still, let's hope we cross the road in time. Excellent. Let's get to the store. I think we will, we will start calling our cat her meow just now, I think. That's a good idea. Miss Layla, it's Timmy, he's... Oh goodness, my Timmy Toldrum, whatever happened to you? Floating around upside down. Oh, thank you, dearie. You brought him all the way back home to Mummy. Wasn't he heavy? Uh, no, not really. Is he okay? Oh, don't worry about Timmy, Oliver. It's nothing serious. He's just a little tired, aren't you, Timmy, dear? It doesn't take much to tire a big old boy like you, does it, Snookums? Is that all? I was worried flipping sick about him. <laughs> what was Timmy doing all the way down the garage? Well, dearie, one of my customers told me all about it. She said the Rusty's garage is just crawling with mice. My dear old Timmy Toldrum just loves to chase the little devils. Timmy loves to chase mice, but he's so f Thank you so much, Oliver, dear. Now I know what he's disappeared to, I can stop worrying about him. He was just getting a little exercise, weren't you, my Timmy Toldrum? I guess I could learn a thing or two from you, huh? Too flippin' right you could. Oh, mean. Uh, okay, Miss Layla, I have to go now. It was nice seeing you. And you, dearie, just let me know if there's ever anything you need now, won't you? Tidy, you've worked it out too, I expect, any Ollie, boy? Uh, I don't think so, Mr. Drippy. Go on, man. Timmy disappeared because he ran off chasing a mouse, didn't he? So the mouse is the clue, innit? It is? King Tom's disappearance has to do with mice too? Got in one. Exactly what it has to do with mice is a whole nother question, though. I'm sure I've heard someone saying something about mice over in our world. We should go back to Ding Dong Dell and investigate. I just know we'll find something. Right oh, Ding Dong Dell it is. Do we have to head back to the clearing, I wonder? Or can we cast it anywhere now? Now that we've made our first gateway, can we gateway anywhere and everywhere? It does seem that way. So we're switching between the real world and another world. Hi guys, I'm Wizard, just beaming in, it's fine. Just let me walk past, it's cool. Don't be worried, sirs. You seem a bit down, are you asleep? You are indeed not broken hearted. It seems that the jars have refilled a little bit. Some more money. Lovely, let's look around for more. We're on our way and it seems there's a big hubbub going on down here. Why would King Tom go down Ding Dong Well? I just don't understand it. They do know that he's here then. I hope you're not thinking of going down into Ding Dong Well. We, we, we really are. Don't go anywhere near Ding Dong Well, whatever you do. I've heard it's full of monsters. We can sort things out. I was wondering if that door was openable. Excuse me, sirs. We're going straight on through. It seems the kid's the main guard. Hey, Oliver. I think I just heard King Tom's voice. It was coming from down Ding Dong Well. Uh-huh. Ding Dong Well? Yes, I could hear it coming from the other side of that gate. It was definitely King Tom, I'm sure of it. Ding Dong Well, eh? You said there were mice living down there, innit? Yes, the place is full of mice. That's why I'm standing here, keeping guard. Mice and cats really don't get along, you see. Oh, knickers. I know what's happened. King Tom's been kidnapped by the mice. K kidnapped? That's right, you saw how Timmy went after them mice in your world. Well, this world by here, the things have turned. It's the only explanation, man. Crikey, it's a good job I'm here to put two and two together for you, ain't it? King Tom's been kidnapped, we need to rescue him. Are you going down Ding Dong Well, Oliver? Then I'm coming with you. Don't be daft, man. This is a job for professionals, ain't it? Want some underage vigilante with a saucepan for a helmet? I'll be okay, I'll have my friend with me.
Look at that, a flipping familiar. Well, I'll never. He followed me home when I went to play in the woods, and he's really strong. If he's with me, I'll be fine. You don't quite get it, do you, sunshine? Fighting with familiars is flipping hard. Your average person can't just jump into the fray and start ordering them around. You need to be a wizard like Ollie Boy here. Okay then, Oliver, you can have my familiar. Gee, thanks, Tommy. Thank you very much. It seems we've gained another familiar, and it's a Lima Limal. We'll call the Thumba Lima Limal. Ah, so that's a name that you called him, is it? I like that name. We better head down there, huh? Indeed, we had Ollie Boy. Leave it to us, Tommy, my lad. Okay, be careful, Oliver. We gained ourselves a second familiar. Hey, Ollie Boy, it looks like you can get that new familiar of yours to psych up. Uh, I can? Gee, uh, what does that mean, Mr. Drippy? Well, it means it sort of builds up its strength for a bit, innit? So it can give the baddies a proper whacking like. Once the familiar is psyched up, instead of just attacking like normal, you can let it go wild. When a familiar goes wild, it attacks for longer and does loads more damage. Gee, that sounds real neat. It gets better, Ollie Boy. This new technique of yours will make it easier to cancel enemies' actions as well. Cancel enemies, uh, what? Yeah, Mum. I should have told you about this earlier, I suppose. Some creatures have got some pretty nasty tricks up their sleeves, see? But give them a whack when they're getting ready to try one and they won't be able to pull it off. They'll be cancelled, innit? Cancelling enemy actions like this is much easier when you go wild, so it's a good way to keep yourself safe from harm and all. The only thing is, familiars that can psych up can't defend for Toffee. It's just in their nature, the feisty little blighters. Anyway, now that you've got two little mates, you'll soon see for yourself that all creatures are different. I guess I will. I guess I will indeed. Two little mates. So you're a physical attacker then as well, sir? You are indeed, and you're a very low level at the moment, so we'll stick with Mighty for now. And it seems we might want to mainly practice dodging with the Lima. I hope that they level up apart from each other. It seems that everyone levels up in a battle after all. Right, we have a way through, but no way actually in. It looks like the gate's locked, Dolly Boy. Time for a spell, but the king's down there. We don't have a key. What are we going to do? Calm down, man. You don't need a key. You're a wizard, ain't it? Just cast that spell old King Tom taught you. You think I can open it using magic? I could give it a try, I guess. Could indeed. Spring the lock. Tidy. It's open. Now we can go find the king. That we can. In we go, Wally boy. Oh, you can use that spell to open locked chests as well, by the way. We tried. If you can find any blue chests lying around, you can cast spring lock and plunder away to your heart's content. Blue chests open with spring lock. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Drippy. Is that why spring lock's blue as well? I guess each one has a color level. Ding dong well, where pussycat once fell. Crikey, it's damp as anything down by here. My land will go all moldy if I don't watch out. It would really get moldy? Oh, uh, fee fi fo fum I smell the blood of a bucket load of properly feisty beasties. Careful, Ollie boy. You'll have to watch yourself from here on in, man. Things get get ugly. I'm sure they will. Okay, Mr. Drippy, I will. Stop sucking me into using your accent, which is terrible. Look lively, Ollie boy. There's a monster coming your way. Well, let's deal with it quickly and go look for the king. That's the spirit. Remember, you've got the other familiar that lad gave you now as well, innit? Battle should be a bit easier with two of the little blighters on your team. Double trouble. Nino. We actually use them both at the same time? Or Come separately, on. it seems. Mind you, you say battles might go a bit easier. Here goes. And Mr. Mighty here is mighty enough. At last, double the familiars, double the fun, and double the possibilities. To swap between your familiars, just press L1 and then pick one with left or right. It seems that the enemies actually have different weaknesses and different strengths here. They've got little different icons after all. Okay, we don't need to do that, sir. We're fine. That's simple enough even for you, innit? Tidy, let's go for it then, shall we? Dodge this one quick! Ow! Handy Wink has a lot of HP, however. Hit it hard! Ow! Big spell hits! Take down one at least. And you're a rabbit robot, it seems. See the HP there, and we're running out of time on our attacks here. Nice. Finish him off with one final blow. Oh, you yeah. just gave me a magic Sophia, did you? So he jumps around, giving, dropping us more Sophias, it seems. Our little Limal is leveling up a little bit. 
gains quite a bit of attack quite fast there. So hopefully we'll level him up nice and fast. No save stone there or anything along those lines. It'd be nice to heal ourselves up quickly. The snake comes in. A Naja. Watch this! Like a Naga then, but not. Here goes! And send Mighty until we level up the other one quite nicely. Ooh, try to poison us, it seems. Let's try out the new one, see how much damage it can do overall. Uses HP very fast, however. We need to spell ourselves up again here. It definitely seems better to send Mikey out for now. Nice hit, sir. Pick up the blue one. Get yourself some more MP. Finishing blow. So it seems we need to watch out for Mr. Drippy's location a little bit here. Nice level up. We need your defense up as much as possible, sir. I know you're not really that defense kind of guy. We can't send you in a battle at the moment because our HP just drains away like nothing. Hello there, rabbit robot. Nearly got you from behind, sir. Rabbit A and Rabbit B, two of them for the, well, the show, yes. This ray of light doesn't seem to do much damage, however then being metal doesn't seem to lead us to do much damage yet. And either, let's go full out on one at least. Oh, we regained some HP there, so that's not too bad. Apart from when we miss entirely like that. Ow! Try to run away and dodge at the exact wrong time there. Nicely done there, Mighty. We didn't get any HP from that last orb, however. So using Mighty, we'll be able to level up Lamal. And in fact, Mighty leveled up as well. More HP for our party, and in fact, it refills our entire HP and MP pool, I think, leveling up as well, so that's great. For the moment, Lamal's just not as good. A little old Mighty. What's that over there? The cat's paw glowing in the distance. I guess they're all just lanterns? No way over there then. Can't jump over. Let's head round. Deeper into the sewers. We haven't actually seen any mice so far. There's rabbit type mice. Like, not really. Robot type ones. Come on! Which are rabbits. Where's the mice then? If this Here is the mice go. kind of place, where are they all? It's work, leave that green up. Oh, okay, we picked it up. Nice, nice attack there, sir. A finishing blow as well. On guard, he says. It seems Oliver is a little bit better with his combat now, especially when we end with full HP after all. So everyone levels up equally, it seems. Using them or not using them. Put you from behind this time, Rabot. Let's do it! Who to take out first, however? Well, whichever one go. it lands on, so we get the most amount of time. Snake Boy wants to stay over there, I'm quite fine with that. Unless he uses poison mix, of course. One down, one to go. Oh, Mice is. Slide away! Slice away! These attacks sound really good. Needle! Seems to be somewhat RNG what kind of damage we do. Random number generated kind of damage. The Mal levels up. He'll be able to use you soon enough, sir. In fact, your attack's going up quite fast. Still not on the same par as Mighty. It seems the monsters are respawning behind. Another one in a back attack there. Tadley wink. Come on. Here goes. Oh, mighty attack. Tadley wink seems to do a little less damage than the rabbit until he's using water bomb, of course. 
Hoping to interrupt. Oh, fucking damage! Nice. Then we hit for a very big attack as well. Quick, pick up the green orb. Store a little bit of the HP loss. We won. I see done there, mighty. Most importantly, though, we're picking up money from all these fights here. Doesn't seem to be any way around these areas. Just wondering if there's any treasures lying around. Come on! Here goes! Go for the tabbing one first, sir. That water bomb was nasty. We didn't really dodge it though, and we are taking damage, however. Okay, one down. Oh, we managed to block that one nicely. Great. The Mighty was going through them pretty well there. I was going to change to heal with Ollie there. It worked out perfectly. He started dealing the massive critical damage when we needed it and picked up an ice cream for his troubles. Not bad. We'll feed that to our new familiar, of course. And there's a treasure chest waiting. We can do this! We'll do it indeed. Let's take it out. Here it goes. Just one larger. I say it's about time for us to heal up a little bit, hey? Keep running, the Wally boy. Here uh oh. We can run completely out of range of that, which worked out pretty well. Go, Lamal! Give you a turn here. You do lose a hell of a lot of HP. You are not really worth it over Mighty at the moment. Unless you pick up HP like that now. I see done, Lamal. You won yourself a battle, sir. Feel pleased and level up. How's your defense after this one? Increases by three, so you're a bit more usable now, that's for sure. What's in the treasure chest? What is in the treasure chest indeed? A poison be gone. We are ha meeting poison foes at the moment. It seems like these fish are leading us somewhere, to be honest, and Raboots are appearing everywhere on top of that. Just trying to get away. I hope I don't end up being back attacked there. Still want to use Mighty, however, for his overall defense. Not that his attack's bad either. He keeps dodging things like he does, and only taking one damage. He's doing a lot on these Raboots, that's for sure. Not gonna say it is in fact. More levels for Lamal. Quick, level him up some more. The mighty Nolly will be near enough. Enemies respawning really fast here. Watch this! Feed the Tadley Wing, sir. Mighty was making some weird noises there, but he defeats that monster quite fast. Tried to dodge that one, but didn't really get out of range in time. It seems his evasion is pretty good as well. Juggy, drop his some health! As we get back to battling, we'll get ourselves a sandwich on top of that. We'll head through this door next episode, guys. We'll forward through the dungeon, so join me for more Nino Kuni. I'll see you guys around. Bye bye.